Welcome to The Snap. This is a segment where we answer frequently asked questions in a very rapid fire format. So let's get right into it. On this week's episode of The Snap, we are gonna be discussing heating tips and techniques for your 2020 M. We're gonna show you how to get those dense vapor clouds with either an induction heater or a triple jet torch. The easiest way to remember how to get the best performance out of any product is to heat the tip for a tasty rip, heat the base to launch a space. Heating the tip is going to be the area closest to the end of the cap, right near the crimp. This is going to give you a more flavorful draw filled with all those tasty terpenes. Where heating the base is going to give you a higher temperature, denser, more potent cloud of vapor if that's what you're after. I'll be using a triple torch today and I'm going to show you how to best focus the jets to get the best performance. Rotation. There are two trains of thought, either the infinite spin or the back and forth. For beginners, I recommend using the infinite spin as it's going to allow for more even heating consistently. To do that, simply take your device between your index finger and thumb and rotate in one continuous direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise, whichever works best for you. This is going to give really even heating at the same consistent height to allow the most consistent performance with your device. The next step in understanding how to get the best performance out of your 2020M is jet placement on your cap. If you look at the torch, I have two jets at the bottom, one at the top. That's a standard configuration for a cluster triple torch. You're going to want to take those two jets and aim them at the base of the cap, like so, and then rotate. That is going to give you a really nice, even high temperature and going to enable those dense, potent vapor clouds. Make sure you take note of the distance between the jets and the cap itself. You want to be above it, like roasting a marshmallow. You do not want to bury the cap right in the flame as it's going to end up scorching the material and not leading to a good experience. Slower is better, especially if you're looking for those dense clouds. It is completely normal for your first heating cycle with fresh material to not provide extremely dense vapor. That is because the heat of the tip hasn't been soaked in all the way. Upon consecutive heating cycles, you'll enable denser vapor. To do that, take your draw as normal, and then once the cool down click occurs, immediately heat it up for another heating cycle, and it'll provide that dense vapor that you're looking after. Now, when using an induction heater with your 2020M, Make sure you load it up with ground material and press down to initiate the heating sequence. And you'll pulse it. Press it down for a few seconds and let go. You'll just repeat that process until you hear a click. This will allow the heat to fully soak into the tip, giving you the densest possible vapor. You'll wanna make sure that it is plugged in and turned on, otherwise you won't hear that click. Then take your draw and repeat as many times as necessary. If the pulse method isn't giving you dense enough vapor, try skipping a heat cycle. Press down, heat till the click, except this time you will not take any draw. Once the cool down click occurs, immediately take your device and put it right back into the induction heater and heat till a subsequent click. This will give you the densest vapor for certain. Let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. And what would you like featured on the next episode? And that has been The Snap. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos here and here and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for when we release more great content. Heat the tip for a tasty rim or heat the base to launch a space.